Good afternoon, this is Brent with Black Lion Capital Management and the U.S. Natural Gas Report for Thursday, January 28, 2016, featuring update analytics, primarily incorporating data from the update energy feed, also including data from Baker Hughes and CME Group NYMEX. We'll break the report down by the five regions covered by the Energy Information Administration. Starting left to right, we'll cover Pacific, Mountain, Midwest, East, South Central, and then we'll cover the overall lower 48 United States. Highlights from this week's report, a 211 BCF drawdown, the surplus in all of the regions is easing, there's an all-time record low total rig count, and we're still trading under a negative trend. Let's go to the charts. Beginning with the uh, Pacific region, all of the charts are constructed the same. The gas and storage is the heavy blue line. The five-year average of gas and storage is the black dash line. The light green dash line is the five-year average maximum. The light red dash line is the five-year average minimum. In the center pane, we have the weekly net change, and in the bottom pane, we take it. We do a spread function between the gas and storage and the five-year average, and assess whether we have a surplus or a deficit. Beginning with Pacific region, the heavy blue line, 273 BCF in storage, slightly below the five-year average maximum of 282 and above the 256 five-year average minimum, following an 8 BCF drawdown there in the center pane and looking at the difference between the, the storage and the five-year average, we have a 17 BCF surplus in the Pacific region. We also look at relative delivery points in the region. This is PG&E on the left and SoCal basis on the right. These are determined by the uh, difference between the uh, Platts prices for the respective delivery points in Henry Hub. You can see that both of these in the Pacific region are trading at a slight premium. Natural gas in the mountain region this week, uh, slightly below or slightly above the five year average maximum and well below the five year average minimum. Storage is at 164 BCF after a 6 BCF drawdown and a very slight 7 BCF surplus. Notable in the mountain region this week is after uh, one year of both uh, delivery points trading at a premium, they're now both trading at a discount, indicating uh, ample uh, gas supplies in the region, even with some of the cold weather and uh, heavy uh, blizzards that have tra transversed the United States. Natural gas in the Midwest region is just now coming down to where it's roughly equal to its five-year average maximum at 811 BCF uh, after a 68 BCF drawdown this week. And you can see the surplus of 112 BCF in the bottom pane has begun to ease. Looking at the two delivery points in the Midwest, uh, both are trading at premiums, but as we can note there is in the last 90 days, they've backed off significantly, uh, being cut by more than two-thirds. In the eastern region, 695 BCF, just slightly below the five-year average maximum of 715 BCF, following a 63 BCF drawdown. So we have a very the largest drawdown of this season so far in the east, and we've backed off the surplus down to 75 BCF. Three delivery points we check in the east. Uh, two are trading at a discount. You can see that's been the case all through 2015, and then one delivery point trading at a premium. And although that premium as well has been cut by uh, nearly two-thirds, so there's a lot of confidence that there's ample supply in these regions and won't be any uh, panic buying of gas. In the South Central region, this is most closely approximates what we used to discuss as the producing region. This includes Texas and Oklahoma. Uh, one tr just uh, 1.14 trillion cubic feet. We're still well above the five-year average maximum and obviously above the five-year average, even following the 66 BCF drawdown. We have eased the surplus down to 221 BCF, but still that's more than a 10% uh, surplus in the South Central region. Not surprising in the South Central region, the four delivery points that we cover there all month long are trading at a discount. The lower 48 United States, this covers the entire nation, just slightly uh, over 3 trillion cubic feet of gas and storage. You can see in the center pane the 211 BCF drawdown we touched on at the start of the report. And the surplus has eased down to about 432 BCF, although we are still above the five-year average maximum for the lower 48 United States. Looking at exploration and production activity, this is the Baker Hughes rig count for all of North America. So this is all rotary rigs uh, in North America. Down to 607, we discussed yesterday in the petroleum report that this is the lowest it's been in, the, in this century. And it's going to continue to decline. 
Looking at rotary rigs in the United States only, uh, focused on the exploration and production of natural gas down to 127 rigs. That's an all-time low since this date has been recorded. For the natural gas pricing, uh, the top pane is NYMEX Henry Hub Natural Gas Futures. This comes to you via e-signal interactive data. This is their continuous contract, so this is not roll adjusted. And then in the bottom pane, we take the 10-year weighted average of seasonality. Here early in the year, uh, it's pretty choppy and sideways, and that's consistent with the price uh, action that we've seen lately. Over to the daily cloud chart, uh, while I was in the field, and thank you all for your patience and continuing to follow uh, while I was away, uh, I emailed this chart out a couple of times. Uh, it's still giving some mixed signals, but overall this is a bearish chart. Uh, the cloud spans have crossed. The, those are slightly positive, but when we look at the most important thing, we have price here has been uh, repelled repeated, repeatedly by the cloud span. The lagging line remains below the cloud span. And the turning line is uh, back to where it's going to cross over the standard line. So not as bearish as we were in uh, the end of December and uh, early December and November, but still not a positive picture. We need to see this lagging line and uh, price breaking above about 237, 238 before we would see this uh, as a positive trend chain on the change on this daily chart. Over the 60-minute point and figure chart, uh, after the huge run-up that we had discussed in previous weeks all the way up here to 249, uh, we did come down and break the uh, bullish support. We're now trading below this bearish resistance. You can see that's a, a definitely a valid trend line as we return back here at about $2.23. Still working below that in a negative trend uh, consistent with what we saw on the daily chart. Over to the 15-minute uh, chart, this is NGH6. So this is March uh, Henry Hub natural gas delivery uh, trading on NYMEX. Uh, actually, a slight positive reaction. We were here about 211, all the way up to $2.16, uh, even after the 200 with the 211 BCF drawdown. That's given a little bit of positive support to prices. Although we are seeing, as we mentioned, a lot of those delivery points within the regions are trading at discounts so there doesn't seem to be any panic or concern over the supply of gas uh, where it's actually delivered. Over to the forward curve this is uh, the NYMEX data coming to you via the update energy feed a great uh, one-stop shop for uh, energy data. And if we go back and look at the curve five days ago just trading uh, slightly below where we were and looking at the out years it's been very stable. This is Brent with Black Lion Capital Management in the U.S. Natural Gas Report for Thursday, January 28, 2016. Thank you for joining me. If you have questions or comments, please feel free to email me directly, brent at blacklioncta.com. If you'd like to learn more about update analytics or the update energy feed, please reach out to them via their website or their sales email. Thank you, and have a good weekend.